in the relationship. Anything so. online makes it easier. Yeah, I think Instagram if a man, makes it easier. <laughs> if a man provides enough, he can get away with a lot. No, honestly. amen. Shit. Maybe not for you, but <laughs> no, you that's know. true. That's true. I've seen that happen. I've seen relationships where the man is married and the the wife knows that he has like another mistress that he fully takes care I'd of. I'd say mm-hmm. if some if she knows in relationships, it's twenty twenty three. Relationships are coming all different. But no, no. If she right, knows, I'm right. sorry, it's wrong. If she knows, it's wrong. That's just at least be classy. From the Don't tell of her. Time. Don't ask, don't tell, you know? <laughs> you think if the girl knows it's Seems wrong? Seems kind of toxic. Or no, I mean, personally, like, if my boyfriend was to just was go so and, so like, okay. you know, get with some random chick, he doesn't even remember her name, I'm like, you know what? That's on you. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. It's going to hurt me. And at the end of the day, I know, I, I grew up around guys. I kind of understand how the, a man's bra- uh, man brain is wired. Um, it's not like women cheating. Women cheating versus men cheating is two completely different, two completely different things. I, I think that's used too much as a pass, though, because what if women were like, "Yeah, sorry, babe, I cheated on you." Um, Why yet, did he say, "Sorry, I cheated wait, wait, on hold you"? Hold on, hold on. But babe, I cheated on you. He had more money, and you know, as a woman, I biologically have to go for resources. So well, go ahead, bye, bye. But it doesn't get the, it doesn't get a pass in the same way. I don't think either. Are acceptable. I'm a little bit of a romantic. I wish that we could bring back more romance in relationships. Honestly, honestly, if he would just not tell you, and you would not find out somehow, like it's, I don't want to know, and I don't want to find out. Like the I don't want to find out part. That's what's important. Make sure I don't find out. Means make sure you don't get her pregnant. Make sure you don't come back with an STI. Stuff like that. You know. But surely it'll manifest in some other way. Like typically, if like if you're an addict to one thing, you're probably an addict to multiple things and things like. So it's like, it's you may be thinking it's like this. There's this direction over here where this person's going that you don't want to know about, but it's probably manifesting in other ways that are affecting you. So personally, I would certainly want to know. No, about I, it. I honestly, I, I I don't know. I'm not a guy. I haven't been one in a while, so. Uh, <laughs> Wait. I I. I what? couldn't say, but you used to be a man. Uh, that's a joke, Brian. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, Just want hey, it's twenty twenty three. Be careful these days. It's not a given anymore. Um, well, let's uh, let's move on, uh, Brittany. Just one thing. You said, you mentioned that you think uh, people should try to reintroduce some romance into. Yeah, I think it's been uh, sucked out of the life of everyone. This whole thing of the. Uh, terminal men versus women war has just sucked the romance out of everything and everyone's just very low trust and it's very sad to see and I really wish that romance is brought back because as we've taken it out we have all these very undefined relationships and people are unhappy about it and having to and everyone's just having to settle for so little because the bar is just so low and it's really sad for can, both genders. Can you clarify or maybe expand on what you mean though by by romance? What What does that look like like two people who genuinely like each other and want to commit to each other and are only into each other mm, okay because when i think of romance i tend to think of perhaps uh like romantic overtures such as for example buying girl flowers those are for, nice too for those the are pleasant date. trees i suppose yeah. but it's the foundation that really matters too okay those are symptoms that comes after you have a good foundation right okay so more like actual genuine liking of the person versus perhaps the transaction the you know how the, i think things tend to be looked at almost in a transactional way whereas like what can this person provide whether it's finances whether it's you know whatever it may be and, and that's not to say that men should therefore date ugly unattractive women that they're not attracted to and women should date men that they're not attracted to mm-hmm. obviously for example if you want children there needs to be money there in order for you to raise the children so sure. like looks and uh being able to provide for a family certainly do matter, but it has become a lot more transactional, and I think that's what's given to the rise to things like OnlyFans and why so many uh, guys and girls are buying into it, and it's sort of like this parasocial thing. Hmm. Do you think people yeah. have, have OnlyFans because there's not enough romance? I think that... <laughs> I think that... Um, with the rise of relationships becoming more and more vague, like at the beginning of the show, for example, he was like, whether you're in a situation, this or that, and it's like 10 different labels instead of just like dating or committal boyfriend, girlfriend, et cetera. So if you think that was more clear, people wouldn't get on OnlyFans and make money? I think that OnlyFans is happening due to the fact that, for example, because most of the customers are guys, even though there are some girls. Mm -hmm. And so I think that they're using that as a replacement for sex in the same vein as porn. 
and okay. I don't think it's good for either party overall. Like Japan's probably and it affects a, a children too. Yeah, Japan too. What do you mean? Affect, like porn affects children or OnlyFans? Well, you you could also make the argument if men were getting rom uh, getting romance or getting sex from women that there would not be such a market for. Pornography I mean, OnlyFans. like upwards of 90% of men watch porn. Upwards of 90% of men are single. I mean, a lot of normal people with relationships or jobs, like normal people are on but OnlyFans. That might be normal people watch porn. But that might be contributing to why they're single. Yeah, because if you can certainly you watch get, this porn just, every day, like, why, would you, why would you work out? Why would you work on your career? Why would you do all that stuff? Is you can just well, the get majority on of people that watch porn, like, that work out also, they're not, not working out because they're on OnlyFans. But I don't think that's... Just because that one person, like, there's people that do, it doesn't mean that there also aren't, like, a lot of people who don't because pornography exists, because it's there and so easily available. So are you just saying that, or is there some, like, statistical evidence for this? Is this just what you feel? Like I said, you can look at societies like Japan where they have this, this massive price. There's a huge porn industry in Japan. Like every single part of the relationship is compartmentalized where people are going to like uh, men can go to strip, strip clubs, women can go to like host clubs, just like the male version of that. Um, it just doesn't seem to be and like a very... And you think that's the reason that Japan is like that? Because I mean like Europe is super open with sex. We're kind of uptight here in the U.S. And like is, there, are you also seeing a, that countries that watch more porn... You're seeing more of this? It's that like, mixed in with a lack of connection, especially things like, um, without violating TOS, people being less connected because of COVID, people getting on Discord conversations and having friends through that versus having actual real friends and okay. people kind of compartmentalizing So that. social media in general. Yeah. Okay. So if you mix that in with lack of social skills, which is kind of a, a pretty prevalent problem in Japan, like you're, we're getting a lot of that here, so. But do you think that like, are you saying that you think the majority of men on OnlyFans don't have social skills? Like, are you saying that Porn in particular, OnlyFans in particular, is different than all these other forms of social media that's making people less connected. You think OnlyFans and porn in particular is an issue? I'm thinking it's all kind of mixed in together as, as like maybe people should move a little bit more away from it. You know, log, uh, maybe like if you if all of your friends are on Discord, maybe check your life a little bit. Yeah, or, okay, or I agree if with you. All your present, if you're on the computer all day, if you're not a content creator and you're on the computer all day, maybe, maybe check yourself a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I agree. have something to add on to that. So I think that it's. Um, all of it as well, uh -huh. but it's specifically with OnlyFans, um, as, na as the nature of any other pornography, it's a replacement for sex. So I think in that specific area is what it's replacing. So instead of like maybe going and trying to get a girlfriend or committal relationship, uh, they might turn to OnlyFans, and I think that's why it's become so popular too. And versus other social media, let's, let's say Discord, yeah. that would be more like a way of um, replacing friendship. I don't, I don't know why people think it's like a replacement for sex. I don't think if you, if people watch porn, they're like, oh, I don't ever want to see a real woman naked. I don't think. Well, men get I don't know ED like, from it though. Yeah, yeah, that can happen. But like porn addiction in general is so misunderstood. It's such a, it's not even recognized.